Hey, it's Heather from the Marthaverse, and today we are on special assignment in Brimfield, Massachusetts at the Brimfield Fair. The Brimfield Fair in Brimfield, Massachusetts. It's a one of a kind antique show and it has everything under the sun you could imagine. It's here that hundreds of vendors come to sell all kinds of unique items and interesting things from all around the world. And people come by the thousands to find special unique items they absolutely cannot live without. This is a location Martha and her fans have actually visited. Martha could be here, we don't know, but a lot of her fans are, and we are looking forward to talking to them, finding out what they're looking for, and we are gonna be looking for some fun stuff ourselves because you never know what you're gonna find, and you would never know who we're gonna run into in a really unique space like this. Wait a minute! We know you! What are we waiting for? Let's get going! It's a chicken dragon. Chicken dragon. Fiddler's contest, what? That's a bunch of bull. <laughs> Boy, that looks hand painted. That's really sweet. Are these to be the Hulk? I mean, that, is that not the 70s right there? Look at that color avocado. We had a washing machine in that color. All right, we found him. The man, the myth, the legend, Fitz Manzo, you told us. This was a place to be, so here we are. This is the place to be. This is, if you have any interest in antiques or collectibles or whatever, this is convention time. Amazing. You have to be seen here. It's yeah. Brimfield. Yeah. I have seen so much stuff I never have seen before. <laughs> Mid-century, modern wow. is the thing. I mean, people still love the bowls and the kitsch and all that stuff. Yeah. Anything Martha mm -hmm. made famous right. is still going strong. Because uh, it's classic. It's yeah. collectibles. Mm -hmm. It's timeless. So. What is for sale that's hot this year? What are people buying? Vintage clothes are through the roof. Okay. Through the roof. Look, what the heck is that? Anything with oil or motor or yes. cars is so hot. And let me tell you something, this was, I guess, when they filled up your oil tank. Mm. <laughs> uh, you know, it's cool. It yeah. has a logo on it. And but it's you a could use it piece. for a vase or you, you could, use could it for put anything. Um, like Just little lights in it. One sunflower. On yeah, one sunflower. I you love know, it. Anything different today goes. It's just yeah. amazing. Military. Military. Swords, yeah. You know, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy stuff. Guy. Man cave <laughs> stuff. Man cave stuff. I had a gentleman come and identify this as a Hallmark card from the 1950s Ooh. or 60s. Yeah, yeah. This was a study. We don't know who was the illustrator, but it's it was really, really well high. done. Yeah. And it's definitely hand done. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's a unique Yes, it piece. is. Where are you going to find one of these? Right. You know, a Wells Fargo. <laughs> Do you walk into the bank? money bag. This is collectible. The Stife Bear. Yeah, that's a Stife Bear. You always look for the button in the ear. Those are well made and all wool. This from is a Germany. real, a really cool giraffe Ooh, lamp. Interesting. Mid-century modern. Yeah, that is funky. So you're looking for pieces that are one of a kind, maybe or a collection, things that have that artistic touch, maybe a little bit of dinge, a little wear and tear around the edges. It's a wide range, yeah. you know. Yeah. A lot of people like things perfect. Some people like things with a little age on it. Texture Get your creative juices flowing. There okay. she is. Missing you. you so I fun. Wish I could be there. Well, we'll do it again in the fall because this is amazing. Keep an eye out for rugs. I love vintage bags. Well, I'm sorry you can't be with us today. I sure wish you could. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Have fun with the family. Okay. We'll see you soon. Bye, Bye hon. Oh yeah, mud flaps. <laughs> and we have found the cake plates, John Recor. They're not Martha plates, but they are vintage and they are glass and they would fulfill all your dreams. So just tell us where to send them. <laughs> Aloha, Aloha. Okay, so we found some big seasoned Brimfield fans, and we want to know more about what goes on here. So, please introduce yourself. My name's Tierney. Okay. And my name's Keith. 
All right, and you guys have been to Brimfield before. Many, many, many Tell times. Tell us. I've, you've even got the Martha Stewart blue on. Yeah, we, I sure do. It's Absolutely. like it was meant to be. So what do you like about Brimfield Fair? You can find anything. You can find absolutely anything from any era, any decade, and it truly does suit everyone because even if you're not into old stuff, you can come here with family and friends and you can reminisce about the old things that you had back in your day or the things that your parents had and it's just a really good time. I mean, we're just looking to see something we've never seen before. Oh, cool. um, we kind of we play games and we try and guess oh, what's the strangest thing you're going to see today. Oh, so, yeah. We so, play Brimfield Bingo. Yeah. I bet today I'm going to see 15 dogs at least. Oh. So you keep track of all the dogs that you okay. see around the okay. park. First one to see an alien, uh, they get lunch. Yeah. Oh. Something like that. So I we'll love play it. Something like silly that. games like that. Yeah, that's so cool. That's so cool. We didn't have unicorn on our list this year. No, but, uh, no, but you, it found you. It found you. Us. <laughs> you might not know what you need, and then there it, it finds is. you. It, it finds, finds you. you. Are you guys coming back tomorrow? What kind of days do you encourage people to come? What's the best day? It depends on what you're looking for. If you okay. come towards the end, of Brimfield on the one of the last two days and yeah. you might find better deals because uh, people don't want to load things right. back up on their truck. But good then one, you might miss out point. on the things that were here in the beginning of the days. Ooh, but yeah. there's going to be more, more yeah. pickings at the beginning of the show. Right, right, right. And less traffic on a weekday, for example. Okay, good Definitely planning. worth it to get early. Yeah. So have you guys bought anything? or We did. We bought. Uh, we just bought a big mid-century chest of drawers for our bedroom. So Perfect. Great deal. Great Can't deal. go wrong with storage. Storage. No. Martha's exactly. always encouraged that for all the linens that you fold or mm -hmm. whatever you put in it, you yep. can't go wrong with storage. We just so. bought a new house, so we need to make sure we have lots of storage. Congrats! <laughs> That's exciting! Yeah. How neat! So we have found the center of Jadeite. This is David Ross and he has this booth where he literally wrote the book about Jadeite. And we would love to learn more about it since it's obviously something Martha covets. Give us well, not all the only expertise. did we write the book, but we were lucky enough to promote our book on her TV show about 20 years ago. You're kidding! Yeah, we did wow. the Jedi book on the, on the Martha Stewart show. Oh my gosh. And then we did our second book on Russell Wright, also on Martha's wow. show. So yeah, Martha's been very good to us oh. for publicity. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, she really loves Jadeite and mm -hmm. Delphite. And so can you tell us a little bit more about what we should look for? Well, mostly the, the hard to find things are like canisters with good condition lids. It's still pretty easy to find things like the Jane Ray dinner plates and cups and saucers. Okay. And you know, certain mugs are harder to find than others, like these rare chocolate mugs Ooh. are really tough to find. They're very scarce. We don't have these in stock very often. But and why so they just didn't make as many or they, they just haven't as lasted? As many. Yeah. I mean these are the more commonly found mugs. Okay. Which are a lot easier to find. And wider handles. And everybody okay. also wants these thick, heavy diner mugs, which oh, are also really hard those to are find. Great, yeah. yeah. The difference is pretty Very, obvious. The thickness, yeah. absolutely. Thickness yeah. and the size. Weight. Oh, this is fascinating. Yeah. And then the Delphite is the blue color? Yeah, that was made by the Jeanette Company. Very desirable. Unfortunately, there's not much of it out there, so it's a lot mm, more very, scarce. Very rare. It must yeah. have not been as popular back in the day as the green, because okay. we find a lot more of the green than the blue. Ah. But it's, it's a beautiful shade of blue. Wow, very pretty. Yeah, so it's... Very winkle. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, Martha was a huge driving influence in the popularity. You always I mean, see it on her set, right? In well, the background, yeah. When, when we did shelves. her TV show, the, the the shelves behind us were filled with jade. Yeah. So it's um, no, it's she's definitely been a huge influence in the popularity yeah. of it. I mean, a lot of people still call it Martha's Green Glass, so they don't oh. know that it's jade. Right. But uh, yeah, no, Martha's uh, she's been a driving force with a lot of collectibles over and the years. And when did she come into your life? When did you discover Martha Stewart? Oh Lord, maybe forty years ago. Okay. Yeah, I even I, I used to have a small catering business, and I used oh, to use some yeah. of her her cookbooks. Absolutely. That's yeah, fantastic. one of her. One of her hors d'oeuvre cookbooks is still one of my go-tos oh, when I have a party. Oh, that's great, yeah. Yeah, no, Martha's very she's influential. an icon. Yeah, Absolutely. she's a force. That's so great. Yeah. Jesus, you can find everything here. I've not seen such a reproduction. Really, a man and God. Yeah, the Sistine Chapel in your own home. Oh, the Pope. Kiss of the ring is overseeing us with Jesus. So much inspiration for the religious. I love Jesus blessing the painting, blessing the waters. He's a holy roller. <laughs>
We came, we saw, we conquered. We saw it all, we bought what we needed, some things got away from us, but you know what, that's the game you play at the Brimfield Fair. It's been so much fun. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. We had a great time, and I hope if you're ever looking for something special, you come to the Brimfield Fair in Brimfield, Massachusetts, because it is a hoot. Thanks for joining us so much, and we hope to see you next time on the Marthaverse. Take care, everyone. Coming at ya. Oh my God, there's a $149 price tag on it. <laughs> And you got I'm it not for how much? $20. You got it for $20. Yeah, I didn't you know? even talk you down. You must be right handed. Thank you. You have been so helpful. <laughs> Loosen up a little, huh? You should hit the wine bar.